Every January on Morning Live, we meet the mayor. Over the month, we're going to meet with many of the mayors from around our viewing area. And in fact, due to the popularity of the segment, we've cast our net wider this time around. This morning, we kicked things off with St. Catharines Mayor Walter <laughs> Zenzik. Good to have you back on the show. Good to be back, Bob. Happy New Year to you and your crew. I was going to say Happy New Year as well. Uh, looking back like, through this pandemic, I, changes for you and your job and, and your leadership style, how has it changed things for you? It's really just been unprecedented. So it's trying to learn as quickly as possible. Uh, the information that's coming from public health and from other medical agencies and trying to get that information to the community as soon as possible. And also working with our, our local staff here at the city of St. Catharines, making sure that the essential services are being provided. It's It has been a challenging time for a lot of people, including myself. And it's just, you just gotta rise to the occasion. And have people with the lockdown, how is the reaction in St. Catharines? It's been tough on people, Bob. This is has the second lockdown. The, the second wave has proven to be more significant than the first wave. And people are going through that fatigue that people often talk about when it comes to what we're seeing here in our community. So we understand that, but I, I do think more and more people are looking at the impacts of the second wave and saying we all have to do more to drive that number, that transmission of the virus down. The uh, numbers uh, that we're getting in Niagara, pretty grim. Um, what are your thoughts on any potential curfew in Ontario? Uh, the curfew situation is an interesting one. It's, you know, I've, I've read about it, learned more about what other communities are doing outside of Ontario, and it is a challenge to enforce. We are a larger, more populous uh, province, and in terms of putting that in place, uh, there will be significant challenges. I, I really think, Bob, that we need to focus on the rollout of the vaccination. And at the same time, it just people have to understand that the more that they can re re reduce their contact with other people, keep that, when we talk about social bubble, it's, it's keeping that physical contact so tight within your, your own little bubble that the virus can't transmit in the community. If we do that, we can drive these numbers down and we don't have to go into curfew, but there's there's just too many hotspots that we're seeing across at least Southern Ontario. Now, speaking of vaccines, so they are arriving this week. What's the situation uh, for Niagara and St. Catharines specifically? I know you were actually in a meeting with the region and other uh, Niagara mayors with a unified response on vaccines. Can you, can you tell us about that? Well, it's, it's a concern of ours. We've seen other communities already rolling out the vaccines, and here we're in January 11th, and we still haven't seen a rollout of the vaccines here in our community. You're seeing the deaths at our long-term cares go up. You're seeing the outbreaks at our long-term cares. And so that vaccine for our community can't come fast enough, and that is a priority of the mayors. I know it's a priority of public health. It's to get the vaccination to the people who need it the most, our healthcare workers, long-term care workers, and the most vulnerable who are in the long-term care house, uh, complexes as well. Yeah, and hopefully uh, they'll be arriving uh, any day now with those new shipments coming in. Uh, let's talk about the uh, 2021 budget. Of course, that was uh, wrapped up in late December. There's gonna be a tax hike? Yeah, it's 1.86, so it's, it's not a significant one, but any tax hike in, in this situation is not something that people would welcome. Uh, I got to say thanks to the province and the feds. Their safe restart funding helped drive our numbers down so that we didn't come to the community with a larger tax increase. And we're still providing the services that people come to expect. But 2021 is still going to be a challenging year. So by no means are we out of the woods. But we've got to do what we can to support the businesses and those who are employed in those businesses that have have suffered significantly since the beginning of COVID. Yeah, with uh, these challenges, is there any money to invest uh, to uh, job creation in St. Catharines in the budget? Well, that's going to come from the federal and provincial sort of agencies but really when we look at what we can do in our community as a city it's accelerating the development of projects that were that were on the books already here in St. Catharines so we got projects in Port Dalhousie we got projects designed for downtown St. Catharines for uh, the west part of the city getting those unlocked as quickly as possible will create jobs now yes they will be in certain areas but these will be jobs that people can move towards if say they're in the service industry they can move over into more of the construction oriented jobs possibly but there's no magic there's no magic formula here bob no uh, we all just got to stick together and work our way through this as quickly as possible and make sure no one gets left behind 
Yes. By the way, I uh, was speaking of Port Luzi. Glad the Neil Peart uh, Memorial is uh, well underway, and uh, we'll see that. Well underway. Up. Yeah. Well, we'll underway. have more on that in our next chat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Again, Happy New Year, and have a great Monday. St. Catherine's. You too. Take Walter care. Zizek.